Welcome to the ABC 123 podcast. This is the first episode of the ABC 123 podcast. And today, we will be looking at this poem that was suggested to me by a special friend of mine, a dearly special friend of mine. And I'm going to read the text and perhaps give some analysis on this text or my commentary on it afterward, because this is the first time I've ever read this poem. So let's get into it. Desiderata, original text. This is the original text from the book where Desiderata was first published. Go placidly amid the noise and the haste. And remember what peace there may be in silence. As far as possible, without surrender, be on good terms with all persons. Speak your truth quietly and cl clearly, and listen to others, even to the dull and the ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexatious to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter. For always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career. However, humble. It is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. But let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals. And everywhere, life is full of heroism. Be yourself, especially do not feign attention, affection. Neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrender, surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in sudden misfortune, but do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore, be at peace with God, whatever you conceive him to be. And whatever your labors and aspirations, in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace in your soul. With all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Be cheerful. Strive to be happy. And this poem was, is by Max Ehrman. There are a lot of interesting things in this poem that I have noticed. And I can point out a lot. There's just, it's like, where do I start? Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery. That's the thing, when you meet people, you don't know the kinds of people that you will run into. So you need to exercise caution to the people that you do meet. You can't trust every single person in this world. If you do that, there's this quote by, I believe Mike Tyson, he said this. He said, he who makes friends with 
everybody is an enemy to himself. So the reason that is, is because if you trust just anybody, specifically with your life, with personal information, specifically, especially in this digital age, and I'm referring to information, really, because that's how stuff can go crazy, is if people know who you really are, your first name, your last name, your address, everything. Everything is digital nowadays as well. So you've, you've got to be take caution to the people that you do meet. So it's an important lesson. So I love this part here because it's something that I know. It's something that I've, that I practice in my own life to take caution to the people that I do meet so that I'm careful that I don't get hurt because this world is full of bad people, evil people. The world is not just flowers. It's also thorns and thistles. But, but the majority of the time, when you're when you're here you will meet a lot of flowers you will meet a lot of nice and incredible people around the world anywhere anybody is willing to give you a hand some someone is willing to help you in some way whether it be you're hungry or you're thirsty or whatever i mean even depending on the cultural context for example if you go to pakistan oh if you're a foreigner they'll give you food for free and it's just part of their muslim culture as was said by their prophet Muhammad, to be hospitable in Islam. So it's just a lovely thing to, to just meet new people across the world. And you see people like, there, 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 there are people that are just full of, full of light in this world, F flowers in this world, not just thorns and thistles, at least in the, at least in the public life. Since everybody has three lives, the public life, the private life, and the secret life. So... There are not only thorns in this world and thistles, there are also flowers or people that will want to be friendly with you, want to be kind with you, and make sure you also do the same to them as well. Be kind to them, be soft to them. Don't be aggressive or don't be, don't be a jerk, basically. <laughs> don't be a jerk. <laughs> So yeah, this is the analysis and the commentary that I took from this poem because yeah, it's just it's it's an incredible analysis because it's just part of life. So everybody can learn from this. Every single person can learn from the things that I have just said. So yeah, that's the poem by Max Ehrman. <laughs>